Business class is a structured, systematic approach that is based very much on understanding the needs and priorities of schools, matching those needs and priorities to business partners and organisation partners who work together with the school to try and make progress against key issues and challenges. I think the business class programme that business and the community are running is a really innovative means of building a proper relationship between local businesses and local schools. And the schools that are in the business class programme are amongst the most challenging schools in, in the country. A lot of the students from our school come from single parent families, uh, families with high unemployment. Our job is to raise their aspirations in a time when the news, whether it's economic, whatever sort of news it is, is really very, very negative. This is not about business coming to do anything to a school. It is about business responding to the needs and priorities of the school. We had worked with businesses before, but they weren't proper relationships. You'd maybe do one thing with them and then it'd fall away and, and, and there would ne never be any follow-up on it. What is a school we want to do is to develop a link with one business to really work closely together on raising attainment and achievement for our students. It's not only building a relationship between schools and businesses so that they can benefit each other, but it's building a permanent relationship or at least a three-year one and hopefully on that basis there is a permanent relationship that develops. Business class is also defined by the fact it operates in a cluster or a group of businesses with a group of schools, so you have the benefit of learning between businesses and between schools and taking the best practice that exists with any organisation or any region. This is where the business class initiative can be so helpful. It really works by bringing schools and employers closer together and it enables employers to learn from each other. It's making sure that we're actually focused on not just delivering improvements for our own school, but actually the more, the higher the achievement is for children across Swindon, and the better the profile is for Swindon as a town, we'll recruit more jobs, etc, etc. So it's a big pull in terms of raising standards right the way across the piece in Swindon. You've got a whole range of different initiatives and partnerships being forged. Sometimes it's around how businesses can bring their professional executive capability to bear, to mentor head teachers, mentor um, uh, teachers, help the governors in their processes. Sometimes it's around how the school can market itself. There is an awful lot of change management going on and that uh, business model helped me because it's about reducing anxiety and changing mindsets to embrace it more positively. And I'm looking forward to support from business class in enhancing the leadership capacity of uh, my middle leaders in particular. My students have benefited not least for the younger students to develop work-based skills, um, interview skills, uh, presenting, etc. In the end, businesses thrive on the basis of good local relationships and high quality labour forces. It sort of gives you that little extra push to want to do better because you know that someone else has done better and that's helped their life. I've gained more confidence and I've taken things more seriously. I'm just waiting now for um, exams day to see my results because I know that like I did um, much better than I would if we hadn't done this. It gives students something to look forward to. They know what they are doing education for. They know why they are learning things. It's about context and the next steps. Right across the UK, there's a tremendous amount of willingness on the part of companies and on the part of employees to make a contribution to some of the most challenged communities. I think that is helping tackle some of these really entrenched problems that we have in some of our local communities with poverty, deprivation, lack of mobility, people not being able to not only not progress on a career ladder, but not even being able to get on it.
just sort of inspired you really and made you more confident into doing something that maybe is out of the ordinary. I think it uh, gives people something to work towards and reminds them that they're not just here because they have to be, they're here because they need to make something of their lives. The fact that there are over 100 partnerships already is fantastic. 500 is the aim, and I very much encourage any business which is interested in its local community and wants to play its part to consider getting involved in business class. We have a, a programme called 10,000 Small Businesses, which is really devoted to trying to support entrepreneurial people who are creating literally new businesses and trying to expand them and to employ other people and to see uh, these people developing these businesses successfully with our help it is really exciting. I'm really pleased that Goldman Sachs is supporting the Business Class Programme. To get entrepreneurial talent going, you've got to start really early and providing such specific help and guidance to young kids is just so vital. It's absolutely essential that we do everything we can to avoid having a lost generation of young people who are disconnected from the labour market as they move forward. The thing with the Business Class Initiative, it's a proven, scalable model. We know it works and we think that lots more employers should get involved with it. The school really is at the heart of any community and therefore the more positive impact we can have through the education system, the more powerful impact we can have on society as a whole.